two of Zoe's life. <laughs> this is our second day we're working on. January 26, 1993. Hi, Bears! Zoe, we think, has a little bit of a infection in her ear. And we're going to show everyone how smart Zoe is. Zoe! Okay, now, here we are. Now Zoe is going to find us. Bears, come and find us!
are doing it anymore. Takes out. Anyway, that was Chelsea growling at the dog in the mirror. There's been a dog in the mirror since Chelsea was a baby. Oh, you can't see that. Hi, <laughs> Zoe Bear. There's Zoe's first swim. Watch it come. <laughs> she loves that. Are you smiling? vacation. Is that on? Well, actually, we went That's to... That's not on. Yeah, yeah. Sure? Uh-huh. It says wreck. Yeah. It's hard to see if the red light was on or not. Um, Brad, we went to uh, San Francisco. With the baby? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, sure. <coughs> That's good, sir. <laughs> Zoe, are we going to go swimming again? Oh, the baby's going to be baby. Oh, the baby's going to She has been like give me that, give me that. Is that a pina colada that she's drinking? She's drinking a pina colada. Just like us. Where's our pina coladas? Yours is getting warm in the sun. Oh, there, there, it there it is. My fruity beverage. Hi. Hi. That's why they're putting the baby in the little party.
of it and they'll think it's a bracelet. They'll reach down, pick that snake up, or they'll squeeze it when they pick it up because they don't it's a bracelet. They don't want it to get away. And that's when that snake turns around and bites them. Yeah, he's confused. So he's poisonous, huh? He is poisonous. Has the same type of venom that cobra snakes have. Works on the nervous system, not not on the blood system. And uh, the metal snake, the cough paste works on your wrist uh, force. Yep. Yeah, I've caught Yeah. And they got one of them. Yeah, hog No, this one's not poison. This one eats uh, rats, uh, small birds, eggs. That, that's actually a copperhead that uh, is going to uh, shed real soon. Isn't that super funny? Uh, no, actually, le less than the rattlesnakes. Oh, uh, come here, you. What? Oh. He's here. Okay, that's a pygmy rattlesnake. That's a full-grown one there. That's as large as he gets. This rattlesnake will get to be much larger. This is an eastern diamondback rattlesnake. How far can he strike? Uh, just to about here. <laughs> you know, over there, you know, you might. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have a lot of racers in the area. Okay, this is your water moxin, also called cotton mouth.
We do have this alligator's mouth taped shut. We're going to talk about alligators a little bit, demonstrate them a little bit, and then afterwards we're going to pass this one around. So you'll be able to pick them up, hold them. Take off. Right, way over there. You build. alligator lay like this along the bank's edge. You lay motionless, he won't move. He's waiting for a raccoon, a possum, bird, turtle, something to approach him from the side about that area. Or something straight ahead. He can actually push himself right off the ground, clear the ground entirely, and leap forward and catch something here in front of him. Now something approaches him from the side, like a raccoon or a possum turtle. Alligator will use his tail here as a sweeping motion. He'll sweep whatever it is in this area into his mouth. So he'll sweep his tail this way, he'll bring his head this way. Like that. <laughs> Tired, Benny. Very heavy. here. He's got the <laughs> forcing air through his nose. I'll tell you what, Benny. I think he's going to be prepared. Go ahead and just pull him back this way again. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and talk to you a little bit about alligators here. The noise you hear is actually him forcing air through the tip of his nose here, these two nostrils. Again, if you look inside the mouth, you will see it does have a tongue. Alligators have a tongue. Crocodiles do not have a tongue. Coming back from the nose right here the alligator's eyes. You hear stories about people poking the alligator's eyes out. It can't happen. The alligator's eyes are designed so they can't be poked out. Protected from other alligators biting them or even the prey they catch and poking them out. As they touch the eyes, watch, they'll actually sink deep down into some sockets or way down in there deep and can't poke his eyes out. Right here behind the eyes, the flats here is the alligator's ears. Alligators have a very good sense of hearing. Right here between two ears is where their brain is, protected by this bony plate. They have a very small brain, about the size of mine, my thumb. Not my brain, my thumb here. <laughs> Coming back from the brain, you see these ridges sticking up. These are called scutes. They're individual bony material. They act like a solar panel for the alligator. He'll lay out in the sun. These bony materials will absorb heat and then release that heat back into the alligator, keeping them warm during the night hours. Now I'm going to go ahead and try to open up this alligator's mouth for you all. Not 
going to like this much. Look towards the back of the throat. You'll see it doesn't look like there's an opening back there. It's got a half moon shaped flap of skin back there. Okay. He also has 80 teeth. 40 on the bottom, 40 on the top. These teeth are hollow. He breaks a tooth off. There's another tooth right inside that one ready to replace it to come through. Another one inside that one. That flap of skin that was in the back of the throat, that prevents water from rushing down his throat when he captures a fish or turtle or something under the water. The alligators cannot swallow under the water. They actually have to come back above the surface to swallow. Now quite often you see the alligators along the canal or in the canal, you'll see just the tips of their eyes, the tip of their nose sticking up above the water. That's so they can breathe and they can see and they'll wait for a... Uh, mostly they're waiting for a along the surface of the water to catch up there. The alligator also will lay completely submerged under the water along the bank's edge. They can lay submerged underneath the water for a couple of days, no problem. They don't need to come up for air. What they do is they'll wait for something to come to the water edge for a drink and they'll lunge out very quickly, grab it. They'll drag it back in the water, go under with it, and drown it. Again, they do have to come back above the surface though before they can swallow it. That's when he did close down. He close when they're under the water, stops the breathe from getting on their eye. You go ahead and start right over there. Now watch the way Benny Cody. Go start with him. He looks like you know how to do it. Hold under underneath the throat with one hand, put your palm on top of the tail. Put the palm underneath, that way you can swing the tail up and you might smack it, but if you have the palm on top of the tail, keep this tail. Yeah, that's what baby does. Oh, I was recording that. Okay. There you go. No, wait. It's about 20 years old. There's a lawnmower down there. <laughs> 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 I didn't really dig it too much. Again, some of the difference between alligators and crocodiles is the nose of an alligator, very wide and broad.
love. Baby's in the sunshine. Too bright. Too bright. How about like this? Snap them. Bring back for Baby's in the sun. Can you water ski on here? Probably not. Because of that sign. Thank <laughs> you. 
same time and President Roosevelt commandeered the vessel. Oh, took it away from Sue Avery, which he could do ah. for the war effort. For the yeah, War Powers Act or and then uh, President Roosevelt gave the vessel to the Coast Guard. They ah. mounted a fifty caliber gun on the fore deck. It had depth charge racks on board and it was a sub chaser off the south shore of Long Island during the war. No kidding. The flank speed was eighteen knots with the same engines I have in her now. Which are the diesels, the Alistair right. Detroit. Detroit diesels, 671s, four of them. Ah! Oh. Then President Bush came into office. Well, getting back to uh, Roosevelt, he had his own private yacht called the Potomac. About a hundred and some odd footer. We're 93 feet. And President Truman came into office. There was a presidential oh. yacht called the Williamsburg, which was 260 feet long, thereabouts. And it was a big steel thing and deep water vessel. So most of the time, when it was in the Potomac, it was at anchor. And President Truman would use this vessel as a launch to get out to the Williamsburg. So Truman got rid of the Williamsburg and made this vessel the presidential yacht. He called it the Lord Number Two because I guess he, he sort of had some liking for Sue Lavery being a gutsy guy, the way he stood up to President Roosevelt. And when Avery had the vessel, he had called it Lenore after his wife. So Truman renamed it, went back to call it Lenore Number no. Two. The president called it the Barbara Ann after one of his granddaughters. Jack Kennedy called it the Honey Fitz after his maternal grandfather, Mr. Fitzgerald, okay. who was the mayor of Boston. Uh huh. <laughs> That's I'm getting it all. And uh, <laughs> President Johnson kept the name Honey Fitz. Because the way he came into office with the assassination and him exactly. being a rancher, uh, there's a book he read. He wrote, and then it states that President uh, uh, Johnson said it would have been easier to change the name of the Washington Monument to change the name of the Honey Pits to another name. Yeah. That as soon as Nixon came into office, he named it the Patricia oh. after his eldest daughter Pat. The Pat. And we acquired the vessel in 1970. Here, Zoe. Get in the <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, girl. What do you say? It's sure is great to be here in Turnberry. Isn't it? You're relaxed. You're happy. Give me that hand. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, baby girl. What do you think? <laughs> Babies have clue. 
Let me grab that. Let me grab that camera. Look at you. Baby girl, get out of here. Let's see your smile. Put it back. Oh, thank you. Take it off. Perhaps I'll throw it on the ground. Before you started filming me? I showed you a rump a little tiny bit. Well then erase. I'm just doing a general panorama kind of. Well then why did you have my bug? I will 
embarrass you so bad that you won't even be able to stand it if you don't face them. I'm not kidding. I have the brain power. <laughs> Hey, I'm making a tape.
damn. I accidentally hit record. What? Hi! Hi! Oh, Ooh, that's a strong baby. A strong ever chubby baby. Can't see daddy. Hey, baby. Get up. Get on the back. Okay. Zoe! Zoe, you're pretty good mommy. Oh, that's cute. Hey, baby. Hi! Get your foot, these are feet, little feet, up close feet, 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 feet,
Come here. Come on.
This is Zoe's interpretation of Sean Penn. Do it again, Zoe. <laughs> Everything in the mouth. Yeah, that tasted awful. <laughs> Your mom taught her this in one day. One time. Patty cake, patty cake, make your sand. Patty cake, patty cake, make your sand. Uh oh. Uh oh. Clappy, clappy, clap. We are clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe might be a ham. You got a ham. You think that was her version of yay? Yay! Yay! Her first question. Oh, ow. <laughs> oh, the date. Clapping! Yay! Bye-bye! Wait, 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 bye-bye! Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.